about you It was only one night, only that time And it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk, it's blurry But I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now And it could fade away But it probably won't And I should let it be Welcome back to my day off vlog. Today is Halloween and it is Saturday and both me and Jake got off. And actually I just thought about this Jake, we've never had a Halloween off. I've never had Halloween We've off. never had Halloween off because we've yeah, always yeah. worked. Oh my god, I've just realised that. Um, anyway, so if you've just seen that little montage this morning, it was nice. It's so cold outside, our car was iced over. We had a coffee, we had a bacon sandwich, I had a bubble bath. I've now washed my hair and now we're ready to go out. I'm going out today with a mission to find a toffee apple, okay? Because at home they used to sell them in like Tesco's and Asda and they don't have them here in Walmart and Zers and Sobeys. So I'm on a mission today to find a toffee apple because I haven't had one this year. Um, and then we've got a few errands to run. We've ordered a Walmart pickup. So I'm going to go pick that up very shortly just for a few bits and bobs. Um, and yeah, we're just going to have a really chilled Halloween. We want to be back tonight because I really want to see a trick or treater. Like, I'm so excited. We've got to turn our porch light on because that means that um, we are open to have trick or treaters. And we've got a red pumpkin. Uh, sticker which means that we're sanitized we'll wear a mask when we open the door which is super good so I'll put that up later we need to go get some sweets actually for trick-or-treaters I just want to show you my outfit today um, I'm wearing my new teddy bear coat from Calvin Klein and um, it was 70% off so it worked out to be 35 pounds which is crazy and it was supposed to be 180 dollars so yes let me show you what I'm wearing so I'm just wearing my Calvin Klein leather look um, trousers with my Dot Martins and then I'm just wearing a jumper from New Look which I got years and years ago um, and then my teddy bear coat it's so so nice um, okay so it's got like a little Calvin Klein little patch there and when it's like up properly it's like proper around my head like this and it's so cozy I absolutely love it because it's super cold today but yeah, we're going to get going now um, because it's getting later on in the day. I think it's even lunchtime, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, let's go. Okay, so we are coming to Howell's Farm. I know it's quite expensive for like a day pass, but apparently you can just go in the shop. And I'm hoping I'm going to find a toffee apple there. And it's just here. Wow, it's busy. I know it's a very popular one for this area. Um, so we're going to have a little, little mooch. Oh, what if we get stuck? Oh my god, we got a 4x4. Look how autumn it is. So we're just walking down to Howe's Farm now. You have to park a little bit further away, but it's a nice little walk, isn't it? And it's super cold. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I just got my big teddy bear coat on. And this looks very popular. <laughs> it does Christmas too. <laughs> So let's go look. We found candy apples. I got my cotton candy apple and Jake's got a brownie. <laughs> That's not me. There's a weird frog orchestra over here. And then over here a goat walk. is a goat walk. But I believe there's a peacock here. <laughs> oh, peacock's not allowed to go on a goat walk. <laughs> so there's a cute little peacock. Hello. <laughs> and then this is for goats to climb on with like loads of goats. Yeah, there at the top of it. Oh yeah, let's go have a little There's loads of cute little seating areas here. So if anyone's looking for like a, somewhere cute outside for some, some cute photos, then um, this is definitely a good spot. Let's go to the goat home. Oh, this is a bunny veal. Jake, look at bunny veal. <laughs> There's no bunnies in there. What animal is that? That is not a goat. It's not a duck, it's not a goose, it's not a swan. Maybe it's a bit of both. It's like a cross between a dinosaur and goose. <laughs> oh look, there's loads of seating area out there, babe. Uh, so this is where the goats live. 
Oh, you can feed it by putting things down the tube. Oh my god, there's a goat who's escaped. A goat's escaped. Don't try to chase it. <laughs> there's a goat that's escaped and they're just trying to chase him. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> Okay, we just went to the shop in Howells because you don't have to pay to go into the shop or the bar area or the restaurant you have to pay to go to the attractions which looks really good and we did say next year we'll probably come and do it but they do it up for Christmas and we're definitely going to come and pay it at Christmas but we got a toffee apple Jake got a brownie and we had a little like walk around and there was like a peacock some goats as you've probably just seen it was really cute wasn't it yeah but I don't think this is toffee what? I don't think it's toffee. It is. No, it's just called a candy apple. <laughs> but it's like sugar, it's which is exactly like what I want. Toffee's English. <laughs> but it was really cute, wasn't it? I'm glad we yeah. came and did it. Like, it was nice to see. And Jake's a bit cold, so he didn't wear a coat. It's a bit cold, it's freezing. <laughs> Why didn't you wear a coat? I did, it's in the car. Oh, lad. <laughs> so we just popped in to see it. Like, we didn't stay long. But I bet it's really nice at night as well. But yeah, we're just back to the car now. Oh, oh by the way, the brownie from Owls is incredible and I haven't I haven't opened my candy apple yet just because I know it gets messy so I've just kind of slit it into the the glove box and then I'll try that hey, one again. So I haven't vlogged in like the last hour but we've had the craziest hour ever. Okay so I need to tell you guys. So basically we came to the outlet and I was like I'm not going to vlog the outlet because we come to the outlet in literally every vlog and Jake really wanted a wallet who's there so we're like let's just go in the Calvin Klein accessory store we got 20% off there and let's just go in there to see if there's a wallet we go in there and guys the handbags were $20 two zero they had over 80% off the handbags handbags are normally 180 to 280 dollars and they were all $20 they were getting rid of all their summer sale because they were all like the bright colored handbags and everyone was just grabbing in those two that had like 20 in their hand. So we just started grabbing them. And I rang my mum, I rang my grandma. I was like, what do you want for Christmas? Which bag do you want? And we literally managed to get, like there was one bag that was gorgeous. Like it was my favorite bag. We managed to pick that up for Jake's mum. And then there was one really, really, really nice one as well that I managed to pick up for my grandma. And then this lady tried taking it off of Jake and was like, and then the, the shop owner was like, six feet distance can you stop touching his stuff and we was like thank you so much but anyway here is the bags afterwards i think we managed to get seven in total yeah. in total seven and then i got to the cash out and i was like am i allowed to use my 20 percent off discount code they were like yeah they're like what's your um, membership so they put in my membership number and they go oh you've got an extra 10 percent as well you've got 30 percent off so these bags were seven pound each seven pounds when i get home i'm gonna show you because i'm just far too excited now um we're going to get pick up our groceries from walmart and then i'll show you all of it when i get home okay so these are our shopping bags <laughs> so funny so i'm just going to show you what we got i'm going to lay it all out let you know prices and stuff because i know you guys love it when i go to the outlet and save money because everyone always says it so the first bag we got was for Jake's mum. I know these are Christmas presents, but they already know about it because I video called them when we were there to see if they like it. So this was originally 200, let me see, and 18 Canadian dollars. Just remember it is Canadian dollars, not USA dollars. So obviously it's like half the price in pounds, but um, this is the bag. It's absolutely gorgeous. This was actually the one that I really, really liked. It was the only one there. So I was like, Jake, grab it. And then when we FaceTimed Jake's mum, she really loved it. So we got this for her because I do not need any more bags. Um, and it comes with a, like a little purse inside, which is gorgeous. So I absolutely love that. It's one of my favorites. The next one we got is for my grandma because i know my grandma loves this brown color i also love this brown color i just love handbags um and there's loads of zips you know what my grandma's like well you don't know what my grandma's like but um she carries she has a mary poppins bag she carries everything so it's good that it's got somewhere for a phone because she's always looking for a phone in her bag when it starts ringing um and these little pockets and then it also comes as well inside 
Oh, it's all tangled. Inside, it's got another little pouch in there. And then it's got this middle section here. And it's just absolutely, it's like suede inside. It's gorgeous. And this was originally, oh, this was more expensive. This one was originally 238 Canadian dollars. And obviously it was $20. Yeah, we got two of these bags. One for my mum, because this was my mum's favourite bag. And then we got one for Jake's mum, because she loved it as well. And this has the Calvin Klein at the bottom there. It's real leather, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got Calvin Klein written around the gold. Um, inside as well, there should be... Have a little look. Yeah. It's, this one's all wrapped up. This got the same colour little purse inside as well. And like I said, this was like the summer collection. That's why it's all so cheap at the minute. But my mum loved that and so does Jake's mum. So we got them that. And this was 188 originally. So we got two of those. And then also... We got two of these. One is for my sister-in-law. Hopefully she's not watching this because that's the one person who doesn't know that I got her <laughs> on this whole video. But if she, if you are watching Hannah, then this is what I got you for Christmas. Um, it's one of those over-shouldered bags. I actually really, really like this. And I went back to go get it for myself, but they'd all gone. Um, and this was originally $128. And we got two of these as well. Uh, one for Jake's mum and one for my sister-in-law. We got three bags for Jake's mum um for christmas we've got one for my grandma one for my mum, and one for my sister-in-law just because i know i'll probably find some more stuff later on for my grandma and stuff so that's why i just picked them up one each but yeah the other one is in here and the other one is in here and i can't believe how much money we save. So I've just added up all of these handbags and it came in to $1,004 Canadian dollars. And then with tax, it was $1,044. So all of these handbags came into over $1,000. Like if you went into Winners or any of the other stores, they have these exact handbags without the discount. Like maybe tomorrow when we go to Penn Center, I'll literally show you. And we got them all for $60. And it actually worked out to be like nine pound um, a bag. I don't know. Is it seven? I like, I don't know why I'm saying that because these are Christmas presents and we look like cheap skates, but I just can't believe it. Like how amazing the deals are here in Canada. It's crazy. Yes, we haven't painted the walls yet. That's why they're like that. But anyway, I'm just gonna get into some chill clothes now and then I'll get back to you later. But I just wanna show you the bargains we got. Oh my God. I look a mess. Happy November 1st. Um, I accidentally slept with my makeup on last night because I was so tired. So yesterday, I didn't vlog, but we were watching Hocus Pocus and there was so many trick-or-treaters. Well, I mean so many, like, I finished both bag of sweets and then I had to turn the light, the porch light off by like 8 p.m. because honestly, there was so many trick-or-treaters, but I absolutely loved it. It was so, so nice. And it was exactly what I was hoping for. But then we just, um, I got so tired, we had to turn Hocus Pocus off halfway through and then I just went into bed to play on my phone. And next thing, yeah, I fell asleep. And I fell asleep with my makeup on, which is really, really bad, I know, but that's what happened um but this morning we woke up at 6 a.m just because obviously the clocks went back and we normally wake up about 7 or 8 so obviously our body was still used to getting up and it was 6 a.m so we just came in the front room watched the rest of hocus pocus we've literally just finished it um and i've made dippy eggs I've just made dippy eggs, which I'm gonna eat. We're just gonna put Peaky Blinders on. It's still really, really early. Um, I'm gonna have a shower in a second. My lip has gone down now, but if you've got me on Instagram, then you would have seen my story. But this morning, my top lip was literally like, it literally looked like I had Botox. Like Jake literally injected Botox in my sleep. It was so, so bad. Um, normally my lip gets like that if I'm getting a cold sore, but I can't feel a cold sore. Uh, I put it on my Instagram story and so many people said was I allergic to the toffee apple I had last night. And which is actually kind of weird because I haven't had an apple for a very long time. I went off them when I had braces back in school and I haven't had an apple since. So maybe I'm allergic to apple, I don't know. But I took an antihistamine and it has gone down loads. It's still not 100%, but it has gone down loads. But I'm going to eat my dippy eggs before they get cold. We're going to watch a bit of Peaky Blinders. And then when Costco opens, we're going to go to Costco. 
because today we're going to buy a Christmas tree just because there's so many on offer in like loads of places. So we're just going to go find the best Christmas tree. We can't buy a real Christmas tree because Jake's allergic to the pine smell like his allergies will be horrendous and um, we're not putting it up today don't worry i told jake we can put it up on the last day of november i wanted to put it up on the first of december but we've met in the middle and put it up on the last well week of november but we're gonna go buy it today because they're on offer so i'll take you guys with us yeah and that's what we're gonna do today is go look at christmas trees but we're gonna watch peaky blinders and i'm gonna have my breakfast okay so my lip has gone down so i am happy so the antihistamine must have worked. Um, I've got no makeup on today because we are just having a slouchy day when we're going, like we're going out and then we're gonna just like chill, finish Peaky Blinders. And the weather today is horrible. I'll show you in a second. I just wanted to show you my spirit jersey that I got last year in the Disney outlet for like half the price. And it is the Hocus Pocus one. Jake, can you show them the back? Oh, can we paint the walls today? Yeah. Cause I don't like the white marks. Um, show my back. The toothpaste. The toothpaste. And this is the bag. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. It's like my favorite spirit jersey. Well, I've only got two, but it's my favorite. Um, so yeah, we are just putting our shoes on, ready to leave the house. It's super rainy today. Our mission is to find a cheap Christmas tree. We know they've got them in Canadian Tire for $60 from last year's stock. Um, but we're just gonna quickly pop to Costco and the liquidation stores to see if there's anything cheaper. I know that's ridiculous cheap i don't think we're going to find anything better than that but it's always good to have a little look um and then we should be back around lunch time jake so we can have back around lunch time to have lunch here and just sit and chill Maybe. um i'm gonna put my timblers on i was gonna put my up boots on but they will get drenched and they will stink um i'll show you actually how bad the rain is now i don't know if you can see there we go it's literally like oh, we're back in the UK. England rains all the time, so we are used to this, to be honest. But it just hasn't rained here that much since we got here, so. Yeah, that is what we're doing. We'll keep you updated. We'll take you with us. If we see a Christmas tree we like, we'll let you know. So we're just at Tim Hortons, and they're on the menu, pumpkin spice lattes. I'm just gonna turn this off for two seconds. Pumpkin spice lattes are no longer on the menu, but the lady said they had a little bit left to make me one. So this means, this is my last pumpkin spice latte of the year, um, which means hopefully, I don't know what the Christmas drinks are over here, but I'm hoping it's gonna be the gingerbread latte and the toffee nut latte, aren't we? That's what we're hoping for. But I just thought I had to document this time of my last pumpkin spice latte in 2020 and then we're off to Niagara Falls to the liquidation store yeah. and the rain is just not stopping. It's like a British summer time. British summer. <laughs> so we're in Canadian Tire. I love these baubles. <gasps> How nice are they? Oh my god I love them. And we've just come. Oh Jake that tree's only $40. Hey, look at it. Yeah, it looks sad because it's got no lights on it. It's little. It's not that little. Look at all these Christmas trees. Oh my God, I bet that tree over there is so expensive because I absolutely love it in the distance over there. Jake, look at that tree like in the gap over there, the really big one. Yeah, I'm going to buy that one. Why are Christmas trees so expensive? That one's a cute one. That's $100. How much is that? Two thousand dollars. <laughs> That's the one I want as well. I like this one because it's got glitter on it. Okay, three hundred dollars. No, thank you. Four hundred dollars. No, thank you. No. That's forty dollars. Jay, yeah, but you'll spread it out and we'll put our own lights on it. No. <laughs> Who has a black Christmas tree? Can I just point that out? I just can't wait to decorate the house all Christmassy. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, uh, we definitely need to get these at one point because I definitely want those. The sleighs are cool as well. I love that Halloween was yesterday and then we're already, we've already put in Christmas stuff on the vlogs. It's not even December. La la la, man. 
Lydia, that's for you. Oh my god, it sings. How do you make it sing? No, 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 we're oh, not. No. no, let's go. Llama, sing. No, come on. Llama. It's on his foot. Ooh. I think this is the one that we want. So it was originally a hundred dollars. It's now sixty-nine ninety-seven. Comes with lights. It's six and a half foot. It's a nice shape one. It's not like the pencil one. What do you think? It's such a little box. No? Like slim tree. Who would want a slim tree? Or a pencil tree? Like who would want a pencil tree? Sorry if I'm actually offending anyone right now. This is just my choice of tree. <laughs> what are you thinking? I thought one should have been 200 and it's 99. It's because it's seven foot. Is that going to fit it's in a our... It's a lot heavier than that one. Yeah, our ceiling's about foot. That one? $113. We're buying our first Christmas tree together. Jake takes Christmas very seriously. And that is why he's going for the bigger tree. And look how cool these are for the snow to go tobogganing. And look at these little kids' snow bikes. This is so cool. We're really excited, aren't we? Yeah, I want one. The Avengers. The LED lights on it. Look at the snow bikes for the kids. They're awesome. Oh, <laughs> snow racer. Oh, wow, that's an extreme one. That'd be cool. I am just editing this and I realised I stopped recording after Canadian Tire. We came home, we had a nap, Jake's now making tea and I'm just sat on the sofa editing this vlog. But thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, then make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, I'd love you to hit the subscribe button. On Wednesday, I've got a really cool, interesting video about what to bring if you're entering the country on a visa for Canada. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've got my Christmas tree, which means Christmas vlogs are coming very, very shortly. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Where do we go from here?